That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Parker Daniels Show, where the topic of today is blindness, coping with stress and anger. Now, as I mentioned before, I do collaborations with other YouTube channels, which are on the same vibe as mine. And this channel, Being Kenyatta, is no exception. She's a good friend of mine in the YouTube world, and she allowed me to have her story told on this channel and i appreciate it a great deal so y'all need to go check out being kenyatta k-i-n-y-a-t-a on her youtube channel you will find a great deal of interesting things now while listening to her story which is blindness coping with stress and anger you can feel the emotions which kenyatta delivers throughout the video and you will be able to understand exactly what she has been going through in her story so without further delay let's jump into the video with my girl kenyatta, kenyatta explained to us that due to the fact that she was faced with another condition this prompted her to do a great deal of reflecting on her blindness so let's take a listen in this segment and see what she says when i lost my sight it was devastating, but I was numb, right? I, everything was happening so quickly. I didn't know what was going on, blah, 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 blah. But a week later, I couldn't move my arm. I couldn't move my legs. And now I'm really baffled. So I was diagnosed with this rare disorder called Guillain-Barre. I know I probably pronounced it wrong, but you better not judge me. <laughs> Please don't judge me. Please. Um, and the Gillian Beret left me temporarily paralyzed. So by the time I got home, I had nothing, 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 nothing but time. To now, I have heard of Gillian Beret, but for those who are unaware of what it is, it's a rapid progressive autoimmune disorder of the peripheral nervous system characterized by limb parathesis and generalized muscle weakness or paralysis that often begins in the legs and spreads to the arms, torso, and face. Now, having a great deal of time on our hands, Kenyala's mind wondered about things that she probably wouldn't have wondered about in other instances. Here's what she said in this segment. And all I could think about was what I was missing. What I was missing outside. Every morning, I woke up feeling a, a type of way. It was indescribable. It really was. It was like listening to the birds chirp made me pissed off. Listening to the morning show on the radio made me pissed off. Listening to my brothers leave for school made me pissed off. But I couldn't put it into words. I couldn't talk about it. Why? Because I didn't know how to, right? So I lashed out on occasion, more than occasions. You know, I expressed my frustration, but it was always a yell, a scream. I couldn't kick, <laughs> couldn't kick. And <laughs> that's awful, that's a bad joke. Um, but I was mad. And eventually all of that madness went inward. Now with these thoughts Kenyatta had, she started developing anger and later playing the blame game. Let's check out what happened in this right. clip. So, I'm mad at myself. I'm angry at myself. I'm blaming myself. I'm everything. But then, but then, I turn to the Lord and I say, why the hell you do this to me? I was not bad. I got into some trouble, Jesus, but I wasn't in so deep that I couldn't get myself out. I went to church, remember? Remember when I went to church, God? I went with my grandmothers. I went with my mama when she went. I went with my aunts, Gloria and Deborah and all of them. I, I sung in the choir. I even got baptized, Jesus. Why me? 
I can relate to how she felt in this instance because I too did the exact same thing when I was young. But not only did Kenyatta ask why me, she even started questioning the doctors and also asked if there was something that she could have or should have done. Let's take a listen. I started blaming the doctors. I mean, it was them who made me this way. I started blaming um, myself. I should have remained a vegetarian. I shouldn't have ate meat. meat. I should have went out for more walks. Should have been athletic like my brothers. I should have, should have, could have, would have. It became a stupid ass trap song. That trap wasn't even invented back then, but it should have, could have, would have, uh. Should have, could have, would have, uh. That's basically how it went, right? <laughs> and eventually, all of that self blame, guilt, shame turned into anger. And I started finding myself making up these little rhymes like, I'm a blind bitch. What they now sometimes y'all it's not that easy and that's all i'm gonna say about that as we conclude kenyatta made some realizations after going through her becoming blind and dealing with other issues as well here's what she said about it my gems of wisdom my sparks of wisdom that i'm going to share with you is if you are going through this process or know someone who's going through this process anger is just one of those things that everybody experiences it doesn't mean doesn't mean that you have to be blind it doesn't mean anything anger is just one of those things when you're going through something like this you're gonna get pissed off right and if you're going through this then guess what feel it feel that emotion right but do something that I wouldn't do have the courage to open your mouth and tell somebody how angry you are how upset you are what you're really thinking and if you really, really can't control it, then please go get some help. Please. please. Once again, I am Kenyatta. This is She's Blind. Go to the Facebook group and sign up to the She's Blind group. Also, go to the webpage. I will be releasing some uh, worksheets that you can use to help you work through these emotions, okay? So, I bid you farewell. Take it easy. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. Show me that you care. Show me that you care. Yeah. Peace. Now Ah! <laughs>